guys, it's Kelly from Kelly Lee Creates, and today I have a tutorial for you on how to separate an SVG file into layers using Silhouette Studio. So the first thing you need to do is open an SVG file. I'm using this one from my school themed SVGs, and I'll leave a link if you want to pick it up. It's free. So the first thing you need to do is click on your file and you can see with this file everything is grouped together because when we click it it all moves around as one so if you would like to cut it out just the way it is on the screen with the black cutting in one color and the purple cutting in another color and the white cutting with uh, another color in order to do that all you have to do is come over here to the send button and up here under action by if you click fill you'll get a little menu like this with all the colors in your design and you can just check which ones you want to cut so if you check next to the black you can see that all the black is outlined and when you send this through your silhouette the black will cut and then when you're done cutting the black you just come over here and put a check next to the next color that you want to cut and send that through your machine again and then the final color and send that through your machine. So that works well if you want to cut your design exactly the way it's um, made. But what if you don't want to do that? What if you want to maybe cut the word science out of a different color vinyl? So in order to do that, what we have to do is get the word science onto a different layer than everything else so we can cut it out separately. So in order to do that, you're going to make sure your file is selected and then you're going to come over up here to object and ungroup or a shortcut is command shift G. And you can see when when I did that, if I zoom in, now, oops, now the words are separate from the little flask. So you've got the flasks on one layer and you've got the liquid on one layer and you've got these little bubbles on another layer but the words the words are still all together and so what we want is we want to ungroup this even further so that science is on its own layer so if you go up to object ungroup you can't ungroup anymore and so when that's grayed out it means that everything else is part of a path so what we have to do is come down here to release compound path and if you click on that this is what happens and you get all the little holes in your letters are filled with uh, black but that's okay and it's not messed up and we can fix that and make it all back to normal the thing that you need to notice about this is once we release that compound path everything is now on its own layer like if you come down here you can see that this word is separate from this word and separate from magic and science actually got split up into each separate letter because it's not a script font like these down here so in order to get this back and like get these black things um, gone, all we have to do is make the words a compound path again. But we're gonna make them a compound path, not all together, but as separate words. So what you wanna do is select what you want to make a compound path. And in this case, I selected all the letters in the word science and go to object make compound path and you can see 
that the holes and the E's are put right back where they need to be. And then I can move this out of the way and then I'm just going to do the same thing with the other words. So I selected everything in the word like, object, make compound path. And then I'm just going to move that up and I'm moving it just to make sure that I don't accidentally select them again. So I'm going to do the same thing with magic. Oops, and you can see that I didn't get this one. I didn't select that one. So let's see if I can get that. There we go. Sometimes it's really hard to see because the outline, or when you select it, the the boxes are light gray and it's hard to see on the black. So object, make compound path, and then I'm going to finish up with these last two words. Not exactly sure what happened there. Oh, I know what happened there. Command Z, I didn't. When I moved this word the first time, I must not have selected everything. And so, there we go. It's a little bit better. And then select this one, object, make compound path, and there you go. And so then, you can move these back into place. like so and if then if you want to cut out science in a different color you just select it you come over here to the uh, fill panel and it doesn't matter what color you choose just choose something other than black so I'm going to choose pink and I also want these two dots to cut in pink so I'm just going to select those and come over here and hit this pink. So then you have everything separated out into your layers and you can then come over here in the send panel and now you have the pink layer to cut and so you just again action cut by fill and just check the box that you want to cut the color that you want to cut and send that through your machine to cut. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you like it, please subscribe and you can find more tutorials on my blog at kellyleecreates.com. Thanks for watching.